We are now going to place the north wall in your ABC project. You should be on the Place Wall screen with your floor plan image centered and zoomed in. Your number one position preset will have the proper position locked in from the previous chapter of the walkthrough. Before we begin the actual wall placement, we are going to go over several features that will help make your modular project takeoff perfect, even when you are not. Left click on the Place Walls tab in the lower left corner of the screen. The first feature we are going to look at is Round Off Angle. Make sure there is a check in the checkbox next to Round Off Angle and use the arrow boxes to set the round off to 45 degrees. This will ensure your walls round off to exactly 45 degrees or 90 degrees if your placement of a wall on a corner is not exact. The round off angle feature would be turned off if the structure contains corners that are not exactly 45 degrees or 90 degrees. Beneath round off angle, you will find round off length. Put a check in the check box and use the arrow boxes to set the length to 8 inches. Once again, if your wall placement is a little off, this will correct it for you. Switch this feature off when not working with a modular project. The other feature we are going to cover on the Place Walls tab is the placement type. To the right of placement type is a down arrow. Left click on the down arrow and you will see seven selections appear. At the moment we are going to discuss continuous and segmental. When segmental is selected you will be able to only place one segment of a wall at a time. Continuous will allow you to keep placing wall segments each time you click on your floor plan image. With Continuous, you will need to click on Start New if you wish to start a new segment. For the purpose of this walkthrough, you are going to select Continuous. To begin your wall placement, you will need to be in Pick Mode. Once in Pick Mode, place the tip of the arrow cursor on the outside of the upper right corner of the building image and left click. There will be an audible click to let you know your anchor point was placed. Next, left click on the outside corner of the building in the upper left. The first section of your wall segment will appear. Note, a best practice is to always check to make sure the wall length is accurate on your first wall section placement. You want to make sure your scale was set properly before you continue with the project. Your wall length and angle of your corners can be found under the Placements tab at the bottom of the screen. If your scale is incorrect, you will need to return to OSP to correct it. Now, left click on the lower left corner of the building. And then, left click on the lower right corner of the building. To finish the segment, simply left click on the Close Segment button located under the Place Walls tab. You will hear an audible Close Segment when completed. The outside portion of your building takeoff is now completed. Open up the Placements tab and you will see that sections 1 and 3 are 104 feet and sections 2 and 5 are 54 feet. If a segment or section placement is not accurate, you have the ability to delete or modify it by highlighting it and then right clicking on the highlighted line. Your delete options and precision editing options will appear. Note, when placing your walls, you must move in a counterclockwise direction and use the exterior wall of the building as your path. Now, change back to view mode and use your hand cursor to grab the bottom edge of your floor plan and tilt the image up. 
you will be able to see your completed 3D wall segment.